Victory over King Stephen at Lincoln gave Matilda the upper hand in her fight for the English crown. But in the years that followed, fragile loyalties shifted, and under threat of capture, Matilda was forced to retreat. As her holdings in England came under attack from the king's army, it fell to her son Henry to keep Matilda's claim to the throne alive. Inside the strong stone walls of the castle at Wallingford, Matilda's men held firm against a brutal siege by forces loyal to King Stephen. King Stephen's army had constructed a fortified perimeter outside the castle, trapping Matilda's men inside. However, reinforcements were on the way from Matilda's son, Henry. Her forces needed to hold the walls until they arrived. To claim Wallingford, King Stephen's siege forces launched a renewed attack on the castle. Hoping to crack the mighty stone walls of Wallingford, 
King Stephen's forces launched another attack. Matilda's forces held firm against the attack, cutting down the enemy soldiers. Matilda's forces repelled the attack and held the castle. Matilda's forces received word that Henry's troops were getting closer to Wallingford. 
Soon the combined numbers of the two armies could tip the scales in their favour. Look at Yahweh and brace it yourself. Yahweh, Archelaus for Hastas. Gerende Hastas. Yet they may have booked. See they see that. Stir it out there, every jack. She can build it up for that. Every charm and ten death. At last, Henry's reinforcements approached Wallingford. United under Matilda's banner, the two armies were ready to engage Stephen's forces. Matilda's forces struck out at the besieging army, weakening the enemy's hold on Wallingford's perimeter.
enemy line wavered as Matilda's forces cut down the besieging army, clearing another section of the blockade. Matilda's forces overwhelmed the enemy and cleared the castle's perimeter. joint forces of Matilda and Henry had thwarted King Stephen's siege of the strategic castle at Wallingford. After over a decade of conflict, Matilda's claim to the throne was still alive.